Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about the Colt Steel Code 4 pocket knife. This is a blade length of 3.5 inches. The overall length is going to be 8.5 inches. The weight's going to be 4.1 ounces. Blade material is made out of SV35VN. The handle material is 6061 aluminum. A locking mechanism is going to be the triad lock with a deployment mechanism of a thumb stud. The country of origin is going to be Taiwan. The Code 4 comes in three different options, clip point, spear point, and tanto. The Code 4 is also very, very thin. It's got a blade stock of 0.13 inches, and it also is a overall thickness of 0.35 inches, to be precise. Here on the table we have the Code 4 and some cleaning implementations and wipes here. So we're going to go ahead and disassemble this and clean it through. This was sent to me by a person named Shane. His YouTube channel is Edgy American. I want to thank Shane personally for sending this out for me to have. It's my first folder knife, and it's my first high-quality steel folder knife at S35VN. So go ahead and check out his channel and subscribe to him. He's got a lot of good, useful information on folder knives. Very in-depth, very knowledgeable person. I've spoken with him for a few hours and we're in contact and he has some good advice and ideas for people looking to get their folder knives here on the knife we can see the pocket clip here with the three little small screws i believe you can switch it to the other side so if you want to carry it depending on which side of the hand it's not a problem with this thumb stud here because it's reversible and you can push this out on the left hand it carry if you like to so it seems to me to be an ambidextrous deployment so you just simply push it out with the thumb stud and it clicks into place. We have on the top here the lock back system or the triad lock is what they call it. It's got a retention bar here underneath the scales and a spacer in the back here. And you push this down and you place your finger up here so that when the blade drops down, it doesn't cut your other fingers here. Like so. And it closes in. I'm not a flicker kind of person and since this is my first real folder knife serious one anyway i don't usually use folder knives i use full tang knives for what i do but the application for this one is going to be outdoor work for me and just some lightweight duty tasks around camp so this is a nice folder it's a little bit bigger than i thought but it rides comfortably in my hand it's got some nice fingering grooves here i guess so you don't slip and cut yourself in the blade when you're getting up on something you can even put your finger up here but I'm not as comfortable doing that personally because I might actually slip and cut my finger but you can get up pretty good and get some good control here okay what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble this I know the screw uses Loctite so we do have some Loctite here so I'm going to go ahead and take that out and I'm going to remove these two screws here this is a T10 Torx and this is a T5 Torx these two screws here and that's all we need to basically take off this side of the scale okay we're going to go ahead and try to take this apart here i'm going to start with our t10 torx screw and do this carefully okay our first screw is out i'm going to place that on the side here i'm going to swap our bits to the t5 And we do have a little bit of Loctite on this screw here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get a prying tool. Give me one moment. Using plastic so we don't mar up the finish. Okay. Okay, so we have it taken apart here, and I did oil this up before last night. We do have some items in here. We have the copper type of washer here, and we also have a nylon washer here. So I want to make sure we can clean up all this crud here and make sure everything's nice and neat. We are going to disengage the lock here. And remove the blade here. The pin's going to fall out here. I'm going to take our nylon washer here and gently put it on the side here. And we have the pin here. This is a D 
type of pin so it only fits one way into the slot down there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the side as well. I'm going to wipe down this part of the blade here and get the crud off of it. It's important to note that these nylon washers are actually on the blade on the internal side and these copper ones are on the scale side. I'm going to go ahead and clean those off too. There's a lot of crud here so we're going to go ahead and try to remove that and we'll clean the washers in a little bit. We'll take the retention bar out and the orientation is going to be facing towards the top of the handle. I'll clean that too. And here's the lockback system. We'll put that on the side. We'll clean that in a moment. Let's get the scale done. Get around the sides here into the corner just to clean up all the stuff around here. So we have the spacer here. We didn't bother taking out the other screws here, but you could do that if you wanted to, and you could switch the clip here, but we're not doing that. You're getting all that crud off of there. Yeah, this is pretty dirty, so let's go ahead and hit up some WD-40. Okay, we're going to apply some CLP to the knife parts here. I'm going to get around here. Take our brush. Just a few dabs. We don't want to over oil everything and get it too greasy. Spin comes out. And we can place it in there. So I'm going to hold, try to hold this in with my finger, put a little bit of CLP here, just to grease it up a little bit, or oil it up rather. There we go. We'll get the copper washer on there first, because that goes against the scale. And we'll get one of the nylon washers. And before we do that, we're going to put some more lubricant here. Here's the challenge to hold this like this. There we go. So you can see the lockback system, how it's working here. We have to get this piece back in, but it's on this scale here. I thought this would be captive in the other side, but it's on this side of the scale, so we do have to factor that in when we put it together. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and get our washer set up. And try not to bend these nylon washers. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more oil on the side here. It's probably more than enough. Put that there. And I'm going to go ahead, a little bit of dab there. And there we go. And before we place this together here, a little bit there, dab there on that. Hopefully everything lines up. And she clicks together. And I'm going to take a pair of tweezers. And I'm going to grab the main screw. And just get it in there. There we go. And I'm going to try to drop that in there nice and neatly. And I'm going to go ahead and get our T10.
and gently get this back in there. Okay, so that is the entire breakdown and maintenance on the knife. I am pretty new to this stuff. It's my first time ever taking apart any knife like this at all. And I do apologize for my shaky handwork and the lack of knowledge detailing how to serve and maintenance these knives. But everything seems to be working smoothly. We have a nice flush pin here. Clip is working well. Everything's cleaned up. I oiled on the top back here and on the inside so no crud can get in there. And it drops down fairly nice as a smooth opening. And it does appear slightly off angle to this side. Just a bit, a slight bit. So that's not an issue for me. But if you're compulsive about your knives, that might be an issue. But there we go. Uh, once again, I want to thank Shane from edgy American on YouTube for sending this out to me as a gift. He's a pretty knowledgeable guy. Check out his YouTube. He's got a lot of good advice. I took him up on advice on how to clean and maintain knives. He recommended CLP to use. So I have CLP here and we use Loctite 2042 or 242 for the uh, screws here to keep them in place in case you're wondering. And then we just have a generic toothbrush and some Torx heads. We have a T10 and a T5 for these screws here. Overall, I really like the Code 4 Cold Steel Knife. It's a pleasurable experience for a first time fuller knife from me. It's got a nice smooth action in my opinion. It's got a nice strong lock back uh, locking mechanism, the triad lock specifically. And I was happy to be able to take it apart pretty easily. Although my sloppy way of taking things apart doesn't make it look like it's easy, but in a skilled handset, a uh, skilled person, it would be very easy to take apart and service. So that's definitely a bonus. And the overall feel of it, this, the thinness of it, the the profile, the blade length, it's just a good good amount of blade length for me and my, my uses outdoors. It's Again, it's SV or S35VN. So that's a decent steal from what I'm, from what I'm understanding. So that's, that's a very nice gift that Shane sent me. And I want to say thank you again to Shane. You can see him over at the Edgy American Edgy American YouTube channel. And he's got a lot of good advice, a lot of good experience and info about knives, specifically these folder knives, these pocket knives. And he's got a lot of experience there. So check him out, subscribe, watch his videos, his live streams and whatnot. He's a very, very knowledgeable guy and a great guy to talk to. I've talked to him for hours on the phone. And he knows a lot of stuff, so definitely visit him. Overall, it's it's a great knife, and I guess the only negative thing I would have to say about it, and just just a nitpick of my own uh, opinion, would be the gripping part it can be a little slippery if it's wet outdoors, and that's about it. Honestly, there's nothing else that I would say is negative. Even the fact that the lock here is pretty hard to push down when it's engaged. I don't have a problem with that being hard to push down only because I don't want it to release or uh, come undone when I'm using it. So that's a good safety feature to have that it's a little bit more harder to push this lock mechanism back down to disengage the knife. Overall, that's all I have to say about the Coat Steel Coat 4. I want to thank you guys for watching and enjoy your day.